Yo, check this out. It's the KL52 Plus hunting flashlight. Let's look over here at where that little light just came from. So, there it is there, KL52. It's by Oda Pro Outdoor. They've packaged this thing up into a nice little box. Came with everything I needed to mount it to my double barrel shotgun there. The reason I put it on that is because we've got a little bit of a coyote problem, so I'm going to be using it on it. But the light comes with white, green, and infrared if you're going to be using night vision. It comes with two 18650 batteries only needs one at a time so that's kind of nice that they included an extra you can jump into if you need to got a that was a little uh, mounting option that I'm using and then here's another piece to that option this is gonna be for a long rifle if it didn't have a Picatinny rail already mine had one so I'm good there here's the button switch I'm using the remote so didn't need that on there there's the remote hooked to that we'll look at all that in a minute here's the included charger went ahead and charged the batteries up when I first got it and it worked good they included extra o-rings because eventually those will wear out got a lanyard very rarely ever use these on a flashlight, but they included it, so I'm good with that. And another option here, if uh, you were going to mount this, you, I would imagine you would put the flashlight on one side and then grab a rifle barrel or shotgun barrel with the other side and then obviously tighten it down. That's what I'm assuming this is for. I didn't need it, so I didn't look into it very much, but it's nice to have that option. I mean, shoot, I guess you could hook your flashlight up to your, to anything with that, just about bike handlebar or whatever. Figure something out. One thing that I did find interesting, I thought that uh, I was doing something wrong until I actually read the directions. Um, I was using the, the red and the green when I first got the light and just messing around with it and I noticed it only had a high setting and that's okay because only with the white light option are you going to get the low, medium, high, strobe and SOS. With the red, the green and the infrared you only get high and I'm okay with that because you're using those and you don't need the SOS and the low power and all that stuff. But check these out. I mean, they they really put a lot into the making of this. You take just that right there, nice little container to store everything in. I think that's really cool. But let's look over here at the light. So it's mounted very solidly. I'm feeling really comfortable with how well this is on there. I tightened everything down just hand tight, nothing crazy. And um, one thing to consider with this, if you're going to mount it kind of like I did right here, when you're using this remote wire, you're going to want to get your flood pattern figured out before you go ahead and attach your, your wire. Because if I was to go to adjusting my flood, your wire is going to start twisting all up and getting all crazy. So once everything is hooked up, you kind of want to have it the way it's going to be. And uh, this I may eventually wrap. It does have Velcro and some sticky stuff on there. But I can see wanting to eventually wrap this with uh, either electric tape or they do make some stuff that you can make it look a little bit better than that. But whatever. All right, let's go outside and see what this thing looks like. All right, so you're looking through my red dot now and you can't really see anything. It's pretty dark out here. 
and very quietly not a lot of button noise or anything like that bam light it up that's pretty nice looking up in the woods looking around definitely doing what I need it to All right, I came over to the light so y'all can see what a nice setup this is. Just very convenient and efficient for what I'm doing. And looks pretty good, I think. It's a good addition. I'll probably move it around, put it on something else when I need it on something else, but right now I need it on this, so that's what it's on.